you guys I'm gonna be doing a haul video today it's very collective this is I've been collecting this stuff since like November time I'm gonna start off with Shein stuff but I have stuff from Shein Madewell Redone Zara some things that I picked up from the Zara sale bunch of stuff so I'm gonna yeah I'll start off with the Shein stuff I got two pairs of pants I'm really excited about this. I got these pair of, they're like leather leggings, which sounds weird, but I have just been trying to figure out what I can wear to class that's comfortable because realistically when I'm running the class and it's super cold in the winter, I end up just wearing like leggings and oversized like cable, um, turtleneck sweater. So I thought that this texture would give a nice elevated look to my outfit if I'm doing that kind of look um but they're just these skinny um leather looking pants and honestly guys these are not bad <laughs> i was really scared to get these because cheap leather look-alike pants look so bad all the time they have these little buttons which i don't love but i typically wear this and any kind of like tight skinny pant with an oversized top they fit super well they're nice and snug they don't ruche up like a lot of leather pants do. I'll have a link to this down below. I'll have a link to obviously everything down below. I've got these pants and obviously animal print is crazy hot this past season. I feel like though it's starting to die down a little bit. Everybody was crazy about it in the fall and now I feel like I'm feeling a lull. But I'm kind of annoyed because I've always loved leopard print since I was like, I came out of the womb. I've loved leopard print. So now I'm kind of annoyed that it's so popular because I know it's gonna be like the off the shoulder thing where I loved that before it became trendy and now you really can't wear it without looking outdated. I'm gonna to stick to it until it goes out of style. But these are almost like the like fabric and silhouette of a dress pant, but it's obviously leopard. And the leopard print is actually really cute on it, and it's kind of like a crop flare is like the fit of it. There's no any, nothing on the butt. It's just like high waisted. Yeah, I think these are cute, and they're once again like nineteen dollars or something like that. Next thing I got, which I really like, is this corduroy boyfriend oversized shirt. I like it a lot. It's just I really love oversized clothing. I think it looks very chic and like effortless and I thought this would be so cute with like a white t-shirt and just some pair of like simple mom jeans like in a big mom clip just kind of like in a tasseled bun or whatever it's a great like thin layering piece so in the winter if you want to wear like one of those aviator jackets and it's a little colder you could definitely layer this with it I'll put the sizes that I got of everything also down below I'm technically like a zero double zero extra small but a lot of times I buy things a size up or like a small like things oversized so I'm 5'2 and I'll put the size down below because then you can kind of get an idea of like if I sized, sized up on things and stuff like that I got this which I freaking love this and I've worn this so much since I've gotten it it's a once again from Shein a camo jacket and it's, I wouldn't even say it's jacket, it's like an overshirt, it's pretty thin. It's great for layering, again, I've worn this under my black puffer and that helps to make like a ugly black puffer a little cuter. What I like about it is the sleeves, it has this fun detailing and it's like a perfect oversized fit. I might replace the buttons because they look tiny but cheap. I got two roll neck sweaters, which is truly my uniform in the winter three or four things of shelving with just sweaters and they're basically all turtleneck sweaters i'm out of control this is a hot pink one from shein and it's really really oversized it's like basically a dress for me but it's just a tiny bit too short that it looks kind of weird as a dress so i really don't know how i'm gonna wear this but pink and neons are obviously coming into style kind of already are in style and hot pink is just like such a thing right now and I do like this, but I gotta say, I don't know if it's my color. It has to be a really good hair and makeup day because you definitely can't throw this on when you look in crusty because it accentuates. Um, I wear my black turtleneck sweaters. So I have like three or four of them. But I wanted a just really simple, nothing with the sleeves, no balloon sleeves or anything, long one. So this one's really good with those leather pants. Or um, this is great for running errands if you want to look like 
little more presentable, throw this on with like those leather leggings and a pair of white sneakers and you're good to go. Okay, then from Shein, I think this is the last Shein item. I got this gray ribbed sweater dress and it came with this white high neck sweater underneath. So it's supposed to be layered. I've worn it with, um, I think a black turtleneck and it looks really cute. And this white sweater is gonna like, I don't know, give us to Goodwill or something. If you heard that, that was my dog. I actually think the high neck would look really nice with like high waisted boyfriend, like vintage Levi's with like that mom hair clip or something like that. Okay, moving on. I'll show you stuff I got from Zara. I got, oh wait, this is the last thing from Shein actually. I got this belt and I like it, but my mom does not. And whenever my mom doesn't like the, something, I feel like it's gonna be ugly in a couple of years. It is this eyelet snake skin really big belt. What I like about it is it gives a really good statement. So if you're wearing like a printed floral dress and you need some cinching it gives like that texture and print i i need to find better quality um statement belts because i feel like they can really elevate an outfit so if you guys know of any good places to find one let me know okay zara sale the first thing is actually this dress that i'm wearing which i will show you it is a um shirt dress and i showed these on my instagram stories i actually did like Instagram polls to help you guys, for you guys to help me figure out what to buy. Um, but this is a little black shirt dress. It's kind of like a faded black. And the texture and fabric is really nice. It's really oversized. I got it in a small. In store it was $29.99, but I think online it's $19.99. And it just rolls it up. It's really good for, I would wear this in the fall transition time with like ankle booties, but I would also wear this next year to work. You can wear this in the summer with like espadrilles. You could belt it if you wanted to with like a nice chunky belt, ruch it up. I almost bought one like this at I think an Ula Johnson sample sale that was $90 and I just, I didn't want to do it. I couldn't do it. And so I'm glad I kind of waited because this is pretty nice. Actually, it's pretty good quality for Zara. This pair of leopard pants, I know. This was actually before I bought the Shein um, leopard trouser like pants these are more of like well they are denim different look and these are really cute this looks really good with tight tops because the ankle's quite big it's definitely straight legged pant i wish it tapered a little bit more at the ankles but i still really like it it's great with a black turtleneck or a black t-shirt and then like a little jacket over top but this ugh, beige turtleneck poncho and i think i'm going to return it i do really like it but i'm not I'm iffy about it and whenever I'm iffy about it it's just better to return. I got this in a medium so I'd recommend sizing up for sure to give it that oversized look and it looks super cute on but I don't think it I think it looks cheap. This has like ribbing almost and I feel like a lot of like Forever 21 and cheaper knits have that on it and I like the concept but this isn't like a groundbreaking design so I know I'll be able to find it in a better quality fabric and the last thing from Zara is this blouse which I love I'm obsessed with white blouses this is a little bit I could get this get away with this more in the winter it is a linen sheer blouse but I feel like I can still wear it it was $29.99 I got it in an extra small and last couple of things I got um, some things from Madewell I got a pair of jeans and then I got this blouse that I wore in my what I got for Christmas video and I got a couple of questions about it so I will have it linked down below it's on sale right now and it's this really cute black high neck eyelet top it's obviously very sheer I didn't realize quite how sheer it is and I wore this with a navy suit to my marketing capstone like senior final presentation and you can see my bralette through it so I had to like cover myself with my jacket um yeah not a great idea it has this cute like little rough loop detailing and it has this really sweet little bow on the back which I love it's just perfect with high-waisted jeans layered with a midi skirt with like a fun printed midi skirt this would be great for work and then i got these jeans and i have been trying to find some good jeans because i got these redone jeans which are basically just vintage levi's um and i really 
absolutely love these. They have studding, which I was kind of hesitant about at first, but I actually really love them. I think they add like a nice flair to any um, look, and the fit of these is great. But, so I would have just bought more of these, but I um, now have an ass rip. Yes, wasn't there. Another thigh rip. Rips in the knee. None of that which was there when I bought them. If you guys have any idea why this happens, let me know. I went into Madewell, tried on their denim. All of the like styles I tried on were great. And I actually got 23 normal is the size I got because I've heard they stretch a little, but they're not unbelievably stretchy. And these were in the sale, so they were originally like 120. I got them for 41 or something like that. They have a nice little fraying, great color denim, and I like there's just a simple butt pocket, simple patch. Okay, so that is my entire collective haul video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you guys want to see for like a how to style. I'm thinking about doing something like with those leather pants. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!